Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog. I am here at Porsche in Silverstone and I am going to, about to go out in a Porsche Macan S Turbo. Uh, awesome, yeah, loads of horsepower, loads of torque. Um, I'll tell you the tech spec in the bio, so look on about to co drive it. So yeah, watch on and see what we can get for you. Keep on coming left now. Yeah, just gotta be careful because it's a bit better. First, I don't want to cover. So tell, tell me a bit more about the car if you don't mind me asking. So, what's, um, tell us like kind of some basic tech specs and stuff and uh, all the ins and outs of it if you, if you can. So, engine wise, we got. Uh, Do you mind if I give it a little blip down here? No, you can carry on. There's obviously, you know, in the rules and regs yeah. that we've spoken about. Um, so, yeah, we've got. Uh, Turbo, obviously, all cars now, apart from GT cars, are turboed. Yeah. So even if, if, if it, even if it hasn't got the name turbo or the word turbo in the name, then it's still a turboed car with Porsche these days. Yeah. Um, so this is the uh, the V6, um, chicken at 352 horsepower, yeah. all wheel drive. Is this the, yeah. the S? This is the S. This yeah. Is the S, yeah. So all wheel drive, which. Um, a lot of people say four-wheel drive, but yeah, yeah. technically, again, with Porsche, it's not a set split between yeah, front and back. Yeah. So it's biased to the rear, oh, nice. um, okay. and then yeah. it transfers to the front as and when it needs it. And generally, that's obviously as you apply more power, yeah. it's applying more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or if you lose grip. Or if you lose yeah. grip, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Can you play about with that differential? It depends. Or, or you can't. Not? You can't. You can't only, fixed. only with what you do. Well, with it, your it's modulation. Fixed within within the it's, parameters. It's within the parameters, but it's electronically controlled. And yeah, the only way you can, controls it. The only way you can um, uh, alter it, if you like, is uh, when you press the off-road button. Okay. Um, which obviously the, the car has, it will then set the split. Yeah. Uh, about 60-40, still biased. To okay. The rear. Lovely ride, isn't it? It's um, it's so, it's so refined and comfortable, and uh. But like lovely and effortless, but this no steering's uh, feels lovely. I do feel quite cocooned in here. Yeah, it feels lovely. It, it, Seats are nice and comfortable. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, look at this sort of car compared to a KN, for instance, and they they're like, "Well, this is a like, baby version." Yeah, yeah. But actually, you know, you the roof line is very different. Yeah, the yeah. The roof isn't as high in this, so it, it sort of gives the impression it's a lot smaller. But yeah, actually yeah. the footprint of the cars are it's quite similar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like what spec? Is there any options on it? There oh, there's loads of options, options on it, yeah. Is that, cr is it, is that so, often they have chrono. that as the chrono, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, chrono, you so know that's an typically you, it's, yeah. it's it's got PASM, which is an option. It's got air suspension, yeah. which is an option. It's got the lane keep assist, which is an PASM option. is, remind me what the PASM is. Porsche active suspension Yes, management. that's what I thought. So, so it does actively adjust the suspension. The suspension. Um, so is that automatic or is that, does that comply with whatever driving mode you're in or, or is it both? It's both. It's so, you, so if you wanted to, which I'll do now, yeah, we can do. turn on yeah. and stiffen the suspension and the driving or the performance hasn't been altered. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I can feel so it you can feel it stiffen. Yeah, it does, yeah. On your steering cool. wheel, which is the, the thing that you get with Chrono, is that dial here then. Yeah. Here. Yep. Uh, that is what alters the driving mode. Okay, yeah. so can I do that? Click, yeah, one click right puts it into sport mode. So doing that also adjusts the suspension. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's more, that's more like it. <laughs> that's, I like that. That'd be, on, that'd be on a lot of the time, that one. <laughs> well, maybe not when you're cruising around, but it's lovely, that's lovely. And Sports Plus makes it obviously even a little more, bit more... Even more and even more uh, sensitivity with the throttle. Okay. So what modes have you got? So you've got Sport, Sport, oh, Sport what's Plus, what's that, yeah. Individual is the, th is the other one. And Comfort, I imagine. Comfort is standard, yeah. So that's what, that's what it's always in when you start it up. It's a really pulls up a train, doesn't it? Brakes, decent brakes as well. Yeah, very good brakes. Decent anchors, yeah. So, are, are carbon ceramics optional for this? Yeah, absolutely. They are. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. surprising. Because obviously, this isn't really, you no, know, you wouldn't take this on track, would you, per se? I would. Really? Uh, I would. <laughs> I would. You could, but you know, let's face it, out of the Porsche range. I know what you mean. At the beginning, as in, when you spec the car, you can spec something called Power Steering Plus. Oh, okay. Which right. is like, well, some people call it city steering. It's yeah. Just, you know, oh, very okay. light steering. So you can just make it lighter, speeds. but only just lighter? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah so that so, But you can't, yeah. you know, once you've spec'd it and yeah. you've got the car, you can't That's then adjust it. That's interesting, though, yeah. It's all good in the hood. Wish 
showing the Range Rover. Come on, this is what you should have bought, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what colour would you have it in, Aaron? I think I'd have it in the black. I like that I black. I like black. I love that black. Yeah, uh, it looks mean. Yeah. It's menacing. Might be a nightmare to cut. Okay, it does look nice in white. I think I'd no, I'd, I'd definitely have the black over I'd go white. black, you know, same here. I'd go I'd go black, definitely. I think the, the rear nice. lights just stand out so much more. Yeah. The black is obviously it's a dark shade. Yeah, I like um, it. Yeah, I just think it looks, it looks fantastic. The question is, what colour would you have the car in? I would go with black. And also, which factory alloy would you have? See, they're my least favourite. I wouldn't have the car in white. They're my least favourite factory alloy, definitely. And then uh, this one's really nice. Uh, yeah, they're a lot bigger. See, there, these are 21s, and for me, much much nicer. And I do really really like these. Um, split. They're actually look, these are like my the alloys that are on my Supra, very much so. And these are also I think 21s. Yeah, they're 21s. And obviously the white ones are only 19 inch. They're probably the baseline. Um, yeah, this was our noble steed um very impressed with it um looks like i'm guessing probably it's got the baseline alloys on it which are only 19 inch say only 19 inch that's big but not for a car like this but um yeah 19s and there's a lot of factory options for 21 inch um, alloys which are definitely a lot nicer looking now we've got aaron from car Whoa. obsession in his natural habitat what do you think you're about to get that over that's what i think yeah, <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah. let's get out of their way um yeah what do you think aaron a very capable car. I think this will make for a great daily because you've got yeah. great performance, but even in sport mode. But yes, the suspension is firmer, of course, but the damping is so good. That mm. one, I must admit, this car did have the um, air suspension, which, as, yeah. which is an optional extra, um, which is quite predictable. But even so, the damping is phenomenal. Yeah, great. Simply fantastic. No, I agree. Um, such, such a, it's, well, it is a comfy car. It just wants yeah. along. Um, yeah. Obviously, in the driver's seat, you don't really hear the V6 engine too much. Um, I'm not really sure whether you've already said, but in the passenger, uh, yeah. so in the back of the car, you do really hear that, yeah. you know, that V6 rumble a bit more, yeah. but of course you are closer to the exhaust. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, a very capable car. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're, they're not. They're nice. I was just saying, actually, about my, my personal opinion. You were the same as me. I wouldn't have the white. I'd have the black. Yes, I noticed also these have got a 19-inch alloy. These have probably got to be the base alloy. I reckon that you get completely out yeah. of the factory without option. If you look how much nicer these other ones are, either one of those, I'd probably go with the split rims at the front, which I love that design. Yeah, I like both of them. I actually think they're certainly way better than that factory. I'll tell, tell you what I quite like about these alloys is they're not quite the Fuchs style. Yeah. They're similar. Yeah. Which I quite like, but yeah, I, I they've, they've, they're, 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 they've, they're they've got more of a kind of, I honestly think, a gangster kind of look. I just, I don't know what it is. It just looks a bit more me, mean and a, gang, a bit yeah. more aggressive. They, that looks a cross between more aggressive but stylish. And I really think that suits the car. I like those the nicest. They're both 21 inch as well, actually, but I definitely have in the black 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Much nicer. Yeah. So yeah, that is the end of our video, guys. I've been out, obviously, with Aaron. Um, uh, from Car Obsession in the Macan S that you'll see in the background. Um, and uh, yeah, um, synopsis of kind of what I thought, I guess, and summarization of what I thought of the car. Um, very, really pliant car. We did have the factory Pasma um, at, um, additional option extra, which is basically an air suspension, which is adjustable, so you can kind of adjust motors and things like that. And it really does really, really change the dynamics of the car. You've got a kind of normal position, a sports mode, sports plus mode, and an individual setting um, mode where you can kind of set different settings and things like that. Um, V6 engine, 350 circa horsepower, torque as well. I'll give you all the links in the bio to everything, plus the price and the RRP. Um, what a car. Um, interior is absolutely sublime, um, but it would be a brilliant daily car and a, a car that you could still probably chuck around a circuit if you put it in sports plus mode. Very compliant, very capable, agile car. Um, beautiful um, interior, gorgeous as well. But yeah, no, really impressed with that. And um, if I had that kind of money for a car like that, it'd certainly be on my list. So yeah, if you're interested in one, go check one out. I'll give you links in the bio where you can get that. Again, thanks Porsche UK for the drive. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed um, our little small drive. Um, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.